How so, Cell, is Kayvon calling Cam check down King something or nothing? It is nothing. And I'm looking at Kayvon Wallace, who wants to get in the head of Cam. And during my take, I'm going to get in the head of Kayvon Wallace. We're going to see how much fun it is when the rabbit got the gun. Let's talk about Kayvon Wallace, the big brother, that, lo that little camper that Cam saw during the summer. Remember we were talking about the little camper? We were checking him out. We found his big brother. We found the family in Kayvon you. Wallace. Oh, you, you little woofer. Look. I ain't gonna diss Kayvon Wallace, but I don't know who Kayvon Wallace is like that on the NFL level. I know you went to Clemson. I know you a little baller. But I uh, checked last year. I ain't seen no interceptions. That's all right, first year. You know, you got a couple of starts in there. All right, I ain't seen no sacks. That's all right. You know, they gonna come. I saw a fumble recovery, and you over there trying to clown the former MVP for being checked down king? Let me see what he's trying to do. This is what he's trying to do. He's trying to make something that's good sound bad. When I used to play against Tom Brady, we used to call him Check Down Tommy. You know why? Because that's all he was doing in the beginning. You don't believe me? Ask Eric Mangini. Ch Tom Brady would throw the ball as far as his nose. That was it. Outlets, outlets, crossing routes, short routes. It didn't matter. It was methodical, and it was working. Now, you're trying to make Cam look bad for doing the right thing. I grew up with people like this. They used to, they used to crack me up, Acho. They used to say, man, why you got all the books in your backpack? Man, where you going to go study and try to make you feel bad for doing the right thing? Cam Newton is doing the right thing in that offense. But let me remind Kayvon, two things will happen to you. You keep wolfing, homeboy. One, he going to square them shoulders up and show you them 12 touchdowns he had rushing last year. Oh, you're not scared of that? How about this? I knew you were going to give me them little twiddle fingers. Here's the second thing. Don't sleep on Cam throwing the ball down the field. I repeat the statistic. Of all quarterbacks last year throwing the ball 20-plus air yards, y'all want to know who was number one in completion percentage? Cam Newton. No, it wasn't Dak Prescott. No, it wasn't Deshaun Watson. It was Cam Newton. So no matter how you want it, Kayvon, with your little brother camper, all I know is if you keep woofing at that dude, he going to come at you, and you ain't going to want to see it. Somebody wake me up. I must have been asleep on Cam Newton. Mm -hmm. Sleeping on Kayvon, too, then. Huh. No career nut. <sighs> <laughs> Are we doing this? Oh, I got that. I was trying to be nice to Kayvon. There is a whole lot of something to Kayvon Wallace calling Cam Newton. Check down, King! You didn't say it like that. It's a whole lot of something. Yeah, Let me that. tell you why. Ladies and gentlemen, when <laughs> you start to see <laughs> an ample amount of evidence that all screams the same or plays the same harmony, then there might be truth to what the individuals are saying. Nothing wrong with that. I'm going to start in story form. So. Oh, we're going back. I'm starting story form. You know your boy grew up in the church. Grew up in the church. Grew up in the church. Dad the pastor. Mom grew up in the church. Mom saying all that. But when you become an adult, you got to start asking yourself certain questions, right? You can't just live off what your parents told you. You, you questioning like, God? Gotta you question, I got to question everything. Ooh. I had to question everything. You're supposed to. And so... I read this book, Marcellus Wiley, and this book was called The Case for Christ. And this book was a, an investigation about who this person Jesus really was. And it was based upon different data from different people and different quotables. Now, the issue and the primary piece of evidence was that multiple people told stories. They weren't all the exact same story, because if it's the exact same story, then it might just be the same author with different names. But the stories were similar enough to carry some truth. So it would be as if someone with different vantage points or people with different vantage points said they witnessed the same thing, mm. but they didn't all say it the exact same way. They said it with different vantage points, but it still read the same. Mm. So now that I just talked to you all about this book, The Case for Christ, what's the case against Cam Newton? Mm. Because I'm starting to hear multiple people with different vantage points of Cam Newton, and it's all saying a little bit of the same thing. Kayvon Wallace called him the check down king. If that were to stand alone, I'd pay no attention to it. Mm. But then I listen to our, our lovely stat team here at Fox, and they tell me, Andy tells me, that Cam Newton's average depth of target was 0.7 yards. 0.7, not even a yard. Mm. 0.7 yards this last preseason game. Mac Jones's was 7.6. So wait a second. The stat vantage point says Cam Newton is a checkdown king. Kayvon Wallace is saying Cam Newton is a checkdown king. Well, okay, Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick, on July 31st, you said Cam Newton was your starter. But now, 
you're saying Cam Newton's in a quarterback. He didn't say that. Now, don't try to make that assumption. He Cam, hasn't said anything, Cam, and y'all insecure people think he said that. Cam Newton is now mm -hmm. no longer publicly stating that he's the starter, he's but, rather, but rather saying there's a competition. So wait a second. Mm -hmm. Cam, you were the unequivocal starter July 31st, 2021, but now, mm -hmm. at least Cam Newton's words, you're in a competition. Kayvon Wallace <laughs> is calling him a checkdown king, an opponent. Stats and researchers are telling me Cam Newton's average depth of target is not even a full yard. So there are several different stories from several different vantage points, all pointing to the fact that Cam Newton is, in fact, a check down Charlie, as we used to call them. So <laughs> I think there is something to it, Sal, not just because of what Kayvon said, mm -hmm. but if you call a bunch of witnesses to the stand, mm. researchers, Come to the stand. Mm. I ask you, what is Cam Newton's average yard of target, average depth mm. of target? 0.7 yards, Emmanuel Lacho. Thank you. No further mm. questions. Mm. Kayvon, come to the stand. Mm. Kayvon Wallace, mm. is Cam Newton a check down king? Mm. Yes, he is, Emmanuel. Thank you. No further questions. Mm. Cam Newton, I would ask you to come to the stand. <laughs> Cam Newton, are you still the unequivocal starting quarterback of the New England Patriots? Well, no, as of right now, I'm in a quarterback competition. No further questioning. I'm just presenting to the jury and also presenting to the judge all of the evidence, and it is all pointing to mm. the same exact thing. Mm. Cam over here texted me right now and said, man, you must be getting paid a whole lot of to be dealing with this. I was like, yeah, Cam, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, they tried to do this to Drew Brees last year. I remember that. They was trying to say how Drew Brees couldn't throw it farther than his nose as well as he's in a couple of years, going to be going into the Hall of Fame. Um, there's no crime being committed here. I understand what you're saying. You're right. That's fair. That's fair. We can't go to trial talking about you checking down. What's wrong with checking down? I played defense. There are a lot of times I was like, this fool should have checked down. We that's, got that covered. That's fair. Cam Newton led the league in deep throws. I don't understand why people under, don't understand this. If you lead the league in deep throws, maybe Belichick said, come here, I'm going to give you a kiss. That means keep it simple, stupid. I want you to work on the things you can't work on, as Coach would say, your left-hand layups. He's not calling Cam stupid. He's just saying, look, Cam, you're always out there flexing. You got all those muscles. You can throw the ball deep. You led the league. How about you just work in our system? And this is the toughest thing about the New England offense. Everyone says you sit there and you almost get bored with the mundane. It's the most complex op offense, has the most options in the offense, but it's also pretty simple. How many times do we see Tom Brady do this? I mean, he lived and died. That was his bread and butter. And guess what it led to? Six Super Bowls there. Seven, because finally he gets to Bruce Arians, who is, I'm sorry, the brother from another of Kayvon Wallace. Same mindset. Bruce Arians, like, don't risk, you know, risk it for a biscuit and all that. And he's like, no risk it, no biscuit. He throwing the ball 90 yards. And Tom Brady said, like, can we get back to what complimentary football is? Check down Charlie, you know. Tom Brady missed a check down. And Tom Brady methodically took them to another Super Bowl victory. So people like Kayvon Wallace, first year in the league last year, didn't do that much. But who cares? It's a rookie. I ain't do that much my rookie year either. I ain't trying to slight you, little homies. These are all jokes. But the real is, watch which tree you barking on. You know what I mean? Because that tree may fall on you. And Cam Newton is trying to work on his left-hand layups. Where do you work on them? In practice. So I don't think there's no crime being committed because what he's doing is trying to enhance his game. Fair. Completely fair. Um, there, Case dismissed, the, 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 the biggest <laughs> thing is to really say there's not necessarily anything wrong with throwing check downs. Come on. In all honesty, fans, sometimes a check down is the safest thing you can do. Artists, too. The only pushback I'll give you before we get up out of here is, so what? you got to explain to me then, 2011 to 2016, Cam Newton was first in the NFL in yards per completion. Okay. Right. Air yards. yards per completion. First in the NFL. First, all the NFL, all the qualifiers, 25 qualifiers, through over 250 attempts. 7.3 air yards per completion. He was first from 2011 to 2016. Mm -hmm. But from 2017 to 2020, so these last three years, including a shoulder surgery, he's now 22nd out of 29 qualifiers. Mm. So, so, again, I didn't want to bring up this last piece of evidence, but if you start to look at the evidence, we can argue there's nothing wrong with throwing the check down. And if you want me to concede to that, I'll say bet. Mm. But as a defender, honestly, I'd rather you throw checkdowns than take shots because you really ain't going to beat me by throwing checkdowns. You might lose by taking shots, but you ain't going to win by mm. throwing these checkdowns. Mm. But Cam went from being <clears throat> first mm. from 2011 to 16 in air yards per completion mm, to sure. now 22nd collectively from 17 to, to 20. 
So I just think this evidence is very concerning. Well, look, it depends on him being in a different system, which will obviously change your statistics because what is the philosophy of that system? Belichick's system is not to air it out. Bruce Arians' system is to air it out. But I know last year that Tom Brady had a worse completion percentage than who? Cam Newton. I know that last year, Justin Herbert, who I say, who I say has a gun, you say he has a gun, who had higher yards per completion. Not Justin Herbert. It's Cam Newton. All these things just make me just laugh because we're nitpicking right here. As Kayvon Wallace is, he was just basically trying to get a name, you know, second-year player trying to get up there and say, you know what, let me take a shot at the king. Let me take a shot at the former MVP. But my grandma told me about you, Kayvon Wallace. She said, once you call for attention, you can't hang up. Now you're on my radar. And these jokes are coming, bro. 